Hi, my name is Alex Cecilia. I'm a graphic artist, and I'm going to show you how to create a frozen lake in Photoshop. So I've, I've already drawn out my lake here, um, and I'm just going to show you some tips to make it look like it's icy or like it's, it's melting and it's got ice on it. So I'm actually going to go ahead and color this a little bit lighter, um, a, light, a light blue. And I'm going to select white. Um, and I'm going to add a new layer to this image. So, and the way you do that is you go to your Layers panel. Next to the trash can is this little Create a Layer button. And that'll create a layer for you. And then now I'm going to use the Freeform Pen Tool. And the Freeform Pen Tool is right underneath the, t the Pen Tool. So all you do is hold down the Pen Tool, Freeform Pen Tool. And now I'm going to start creating some chunks of ice. And I'm actually going to try and create these um, so that they look like they're kind of breaking off one another. And that can take some time. Um, but it's worth it in the end if you can actually patiently do it. Because when ice is melting, eventually it's kind of like a puzzle piece or a puzzle where all the pieces are kind of floating away from each other. And you're not always going to want to have big chunks, too. You're going to want to have a couple little ones. Eventually, you'll get a bunch of pieces. And now towards the distance, you can make bigger ones, because it won't really make a whole big difference. So there we have our ice. And now I'm going to go ahead and now um, I'm going to select Control, and I'm going to click. And make sure your pen tool is still collect, uh, clicked. You're going to go to Fill Path, and then Foreground Color, yes. OK. And so it's already um, kind of too white, so I'm just going to go ahead and you can either choose Fill or Opacity. Um, opacity, I feel like Fill might be a better option. So you can lower that. And that's up in your Layers panel right here. And that is how you create a frozen lake in Photoshop. My name is Alex. Thank you.